So this is the cutscene that happened right after I finished the chapter of dropping off Iris. This is Princess Lunafe. She looks so freaking realistic. Like no, like really like fucking realistic, like no joke. She looks like a real person. Like especially when it shows her legs right here. Doesn't it look like your legs look real? I don't know. She looks completely realistic. But maybe I'm just in awe of how beautiful she looks. The she looks like a chocobo. JK, JK. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, like, on the last clip, I feel like I forget to say some things sometimes. It's like, I, like, pulled out the camera when I went into that parking spot. Wait, I was like, oh, and we stop here. But, like, <sighs> like I actually, across. like, pulled out the this camera for the first time and took a picture. I don't know if, like, you guys saw that or not, or we were too busy, distracted. Talking for me talking. Yeah, we have to see the Chancellor again, so that should be standard. He's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. No rest for the immortal. Uh, Gladio. See, Gladio's not with us in the party because uh, if you remember from the last clip that I made, he actually left. I don't know, it's like you almost have to double concentrate. You like have to like listen to me talk and then you also have to concentrate on what's going on. And I just totally crashed my car. Like hardcore. I feel like I've been talking about other stuff and not talking about the actual game that I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he said that. No gladio, no room for error. But this is kind of like a pretty boring clip because, like, or it's not boring because like there's a lot of action that happens. But like, me crashing my car was basically the biggest thing that just happened. Oh well, I guess I'm using the new um, scepter weapon. This is what it kind of looks like. I was just like, I started killing them like instantly with it, and I was like, wow, this is a super powerful weapon. Oh, I am getting super tired though. This is the third clip I made today, and like, whoo, like, we're ready to call it, call it Chris here pretty soon, because. I gotta go to bed and wake up in the morning and most likely go to work. I don't know. It all depends. It all depends if I'm feeling like going to work or not. Hmm. I'm sure I should be able to get the rest of these uploaded by, uh, by the next two days or the next three days. In the next three days. <gasps> well, hopefully before three what days are up. So I can start playing some other stuff. Oh yeah, and then I also made a few more clips today. I made this clip of... Oh, I said way no, no way to prompt. I was like, oh, let's keep going forward. This is, we still got a long way to go before we get that mithril. And it is, it's like a long journey to get to the mithril location. Okay, I don't even think I get there. Well, I must be showing up pretty soon, actually. I think we get to the woods or something before I show up where the exact spot is. I have to still go through a dungeon. Kill him. Kill him all. Knock is pretty badass. 
That move does tons of damage. When I threw my staffs or tried right. into that guy, he like instantly crumpled on the ground. Oh, and then I had this is kind of annoyed me because I was trying to leave and like I couldn't go anywhere because the magic deck engine started dropping paratroopers on me. So I try to pull out. And then all of a sudden, I have to get stopped right away because it's magic tech armor on the road. <laughs> they like appeared out of nowhere. They obviously jumped off of the ship, but it looks like they it made it look like they appeared from nowhere. Like back in the good old days of video gaming, where the enemies just used to appear out of nowhere, out of thin air. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the tiredness. I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm like talking into the headset with my eyes closed. I used to not get so tired this early in the morning, but I got on a different sleep schedule. I feel like to help me wake up better in the morning. Just action, Jackson. Uh, the real two shows are also every once in a while, and like, uh, Watch yourself, I know. We're tired. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep while I'm making this, cause like I'm feeling like I'm about to fall asleep. Uh. Watching the last night, it's a television show or something like that. <sighs> so I do. I get to recycle it where you basically, but I also recycle it home. Like whatever you can fit into that recyclable bin, I put away in there. Uh. Sorry, I'm not much for company. I'm like just drowsing right now. Here we go. We're on the move again. I think we got all the way up till my 18th. Alright, some more drama happened. Hmm. So I'm in the woods now, or not woods, but I'm going to this marsh land area. Kind of went off road so I could figure out where I was going. Luckily, um, oh my gosh, prompts, gladio, and it's going to drive me nuts. Well, I don't know. I can. I'm definitely know his name. I just can't think of it right now. Uh, Ignis. Wow, that took me long enough. I had to look at him like his player icon or his player avatar before it came to me. But Ignis. Um. Think Gladio will be back anytime soon. Help if we know what he was up to. Oh, uh, I guess I'm almost done with my clip. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. I think it's because of how late it is at night. I just get distracted and say things. <sighs> These enemies are weak. I wonder if I see the other group of enemies that are fighting in this area. That I thought was pretty interesting. They're like a mix between a monkey and a cat or something like that. I'm not sure what they are. They're super cool. But I might just use my bow and arrow to finish off any like air related enemies. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.
Peace.